Hello and welcome back to my channel, The Vortex Library. As I said in the previous video, I will be reviewing Lewis Sarcher's Holes, which is a strong book that inspired me to read more books. This was almost a foundation of me starting to read. And this is why I decided to review this book as the first book of my channel. So I'm going to start by reading you the blurb of this book to give you a brief idea of what it's about. Stanley Yelmets has bad luck, which is all because of his no good, dirty rotten, pig stealing, great great grandfather. When Stanley's bad luck unfairly lands him in juvenile detention centre, Camp Green Lake, a very weird place that isn't green and doesn't have a lake. <laughs> he and his campmates, Zero, X-Ray, Armpit, Squid, Magnet and Zigzag, are forced to dig holes in order to build character. For the record, those aren't their real names. <laughs> just in case you're thinking what kind of parents name their child Zero. But what are they really digging for? A hilarious and powerful story about crime, punishment and redemption. And holds. Lots and lots of holds. So this is my interpretation of this book. It starts off centering a young child called Stanley Yelnitz who is a lonely boy who has no friends and is suddenly accused of a crime he hasn't committed. And he's taken to this camp called Camp Green Lake where he's forced to dig holes to so-called build character. Um, Stanley realises that they're not just digging to build character but they're actually hunting for something and um, Stanley makes friends with the other people in his tent and they eventually get to the bottom of what they're hiding at Camp Green Lake. This story was written in 1998, first published in America, um, which is where the plot is as well. Um, and this story, even though it's quite old, it's 24 years old, it still has a vibe to it like and it's still quite popular as well you don't get many of these books that entertain you so much that you can read them over and over and over again without getting bored this is one of the reasons i chose to review this book now um on a scale of one to ten i'd give this book a 10.5 it breaks the charts it is an amazing book it's won so many awards and I I recommend this book to anyone who likes adventure, st um, fantasy, um, exploration and mystery and humour. Humour is like the centre of this book, which is probably the main reason that I read this in the first place. Someone wrote a book review about this and when I read that book review, I'm like... I'm getting this book and then I begged my mum for it and I eventually got it and I did not regret buying this book and I'm sure that you won't either. This book is for eight to nine year olds and yeah um, to be fair anyone who likes it can read it it's not violent it's not rude in many ways and the way the author writes is descriptive, informative, and despite how he writes small, um, like I can show you here, um, he actually used quite a load of pages, which is extraordinary. There are 233 pages in this book, and it even, it even split up into two parts of a story. So, yeah. And also... Um, if you're wondering what this lizard is, it's a yellow spotted lizard. Well, it's black, but in the book, it's a yellow spotted lizard. And these creatures can kill you within one bite, which is one of the obstacles that Stanley has in the story. So watch out for these creatures. They're nasty. 
So that is the end of my exploration into Holes by Lewis Sarcher. I hope you like this book and I hope you like this video. Smash that like button and subscribe if you liked it. Um, don't forget to comment down down below in, in the sec... Oh, I cannot talk at the end of this video. <laughs> Sorry, I just get tongue-tied. Um, so don't forget to comment down below in the comment section books that you want me to review oh, i said it right <laughs> um and remember the cover is not the book peace out